Welcome to the In Her Garden. I'm Shaquana. Whatever you hear in the background, it's because I'm out and about, but I wanted to give you all this actual video on today. Whoever will come across this video, make sure you like, you subscribe, you even comment because this may be a help to you. And share your thoughts in the comments below and then share this if you care for this, if you know someone who needs this, make sure you share this, okay? The encouraging word that I have for you today is to water the soil of your soul. And it's basically is for you to laugh, laugh again. God wants you to laugh again. I know the things that you've been through, they may have weighed down on you so much that you have walked through life thus far saying you don't have anything to laugh about and that's why you're bound or you feel like you're just heavy weighed weighed down with all of this uh emotional pain or stress and distress right in your life and god is saying he wants you to smile again he wants you to laugh again and this came about in my devotion time today and as i was preparing to give this word but things came up so I have to like make these adjustments and all of that, but still give you this encouraging word. And it comes out of Proverbs 17, 22 and Proverbs 15, 13. And also really it's going to be rooted and founded in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 17. You can read the entire chapter of 1 Corinthians 3 for the context of what I'm going to be sharing with you now. And it is basically the foundations of living your life right the work in which you have been given to do god is not looking for you to be perfect he is going to perfect those things that concerns you and me right but he is not looking for you to be perfect his work is already perfected his work is already perfect it's just the work that he wants to do in you some man plant another man waters but he's gonna cause you to grow he just wants you to continue to grow in this thing grow in the work that he's given your hands to do why because you're not supposed to be taking yourself so seriously that you don't have joy in the work. That's why this is not a job. It is work. It's a considered work that you are to do. And you're to find the laughter. Have a sense of humor in your work. Don't take it so seriously where you are just so uptight that you can't feel joy anymore. That you don't seem like you can laugh anymore. Begin to find the joy in the things of God that he is giving you to do. I just pray that God will begin to receive restore the joy unto you of your salvation and that you will find joy in his presence that you will begin to hone in and ask him for like practical ways and divine wisdom on how to find joy in your life let joy be your strength let your strength be strong in the joy of the lord come on let your joy be strong in him and so he's saying just be joyful in the work that he's giving you to do he's not looking for you to have this perfection if you will for instance when i come on these uh videos i don't have it all together i have to truly rely upon the grace right that he's given me and so it's a divine enablement that he gives to you so that he can flow through you so that you can do what you're supposed to do in obedience to him no it may not come across where you sound all perfect and all of that like others he's trying to get your eyes off of everybody else and your eyes on him you have to begin to be comfortable in the thing in which he has given you to do and who you are and who he created you to be in him okay begin to just rely light upon him don't look to your left and to your right don't let the opinions of man become a snare to you but you just begin to look to god for his opinion for his approval for his consent right and it you may have some things in your mind that that's telling you or this voice in your mind you got to rebuke that demonic spirit that tells you not to say something or tells you not to do something right you got to shut that down in the name of jesus and go forth in what god says to do he said he gonna open up your mouth and when he open up your mouth or when you open up your mouth he gonna fill it with his word because his word is supposed to be already in you so it can flow out of you right and so you have to start rebuking the enemy in your thoughts in your mind that tells you to be quiet about certain things no 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 don't be quiet he said lift up your voice like a trumpet come on lift up your voice like a trumpet and decree and declare things go ahead and legislate and take authority over these voices that's not the voices of god in your mind and do what he's telling you to do sometimes it's not going to come across as perfect right because perfect perfection is rooted in fear and anxiety so you don't want to be like this perfect uh, image if you will or uh or a person that's flowing in his power and flowing in his spirit 
because you, you're going to rely upon him instead of not relying upon him. So don't look at it like you have to always be perfect in everything that you say. You're going to fumble over some words sometimes. It's human nature to do so. And if you feel like you have to criticize yourself for doing that, that's not the right spirit to have. You got to rebuke that spirit too and shut down that critical spirit that tries to come up and flare its little head to tell you, hey, you sounded so crazy saying that. No, you sounded all right saying that. If you're going to be authentic, you got to be authentic. You understand? And you can't let those voices begin to penetrate your mind to tell you that you shouldn't sound that way or you shouldn't say that or you just should stop doing what you're doing the devil is a whole lie and a liar okay and been lying since the whole beginning of time been lying since the beginning so you have to understand the voices that you're gonna hear they are not always God, but in the ones that you don't hear, that's not of God. You better rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Take authority over those voices and keep going forth. The foundation of the scripture of uh, 1 Corinthians 3, he's saying that this work that he's giving you, the foundation is what's supposed to last, right? It's the foundation of your work, whatever you're building on, okay, which is the garden of your soul. Let that be the secured place on which you bend, build your, your work upon and the work he's giving you. And let the work that he's giving you in terms of the work in you uh your character your attitude your mindset your choices and all that let that be of precious stones and gold and silver because the hay and the wood all that's going to be revealed through the fire it's going to be revealed by the fire it's going to be burned up whatever can't last can't last he's going to purify what he got to purify in you that doesn't align up with him so whatever is in your life that is not of him He's going to pull that out of you so that what is it of him can flow out of you, okay? So whatever it is that's not of him that you're working in and you're seeing these mishaps or you just seeing that, hey, this is not aligning to him, he's going to purify that, okay, through his fire. He's going to purify that. And the work that you're doing, if you're pioneering in regards to being um a pioneer or apostolic or what have you in your work and it's your for you the first one doing something that's never been done before first time in your family going to school being married uh getting a degree whatever it is starting a career being an entrepreneur uh an influencer whatever whatever it is you want to make sure that you're relying upon him and it's going to be a work that he's going to do that you're going to grow into. Okay, we're in the garden. So all things gardening, right? You're going to be able to grow into the woman that he's creating and calling you to be. You're going to be the woman that he's evolving into the woman that he predestined before the foundation of this world began. So don't take yourself so seriously that you don't find the joy in growing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That you don't find the joy in walking with God and walking with the gardener of your soul to learn more about him, more about you, more about your purpose, your assignment, your destiny, and your calling, right? You want to keep going forward and don't worry about if anybody's criticizing you about how you sound or about how you look or uh, what you're saying and all of that. When you know what you're doing in terms of what God has given you to do and you're obeying him, that's all that matters, all right? And when you take steps of faith, let me tell you this. When you're taking steps of faith, they're going to be confirmed. Please believe they're going to be confirmed. So you don't have to worry about, like, are you doing this the right way or not? The work is going to speak for itself because you're going to have his confirmation after confirmation to let you know that he's backing you up okay that he's backing you up so i hope that this word has blessed you in some way and that you have the best common sense there is which is a sense of humor to keep going forward and just understand that the bloopers the blunders they're gonna come in your growth process and in you releasing everything that god has told you to release and you doing what he told you to do if you mispronounce a word hey it happens to the best of us listen it happens to me all the time and i don't have the time to really edit all of these videos and make it so perfect that it is effective to my audience i don't have that kind of time you get what i mean when i say what i mean right and so i'm not trying to like push out or upload or um give out content that's so perfect 
without you seeing the authentic person, without you seeing the authentic self of me. And so I, I pray that you all will walk in that and just have joy in this. I know sometimes you, you're tried and it feels like it's just weighing you down, but to walk a little lighter, you got to have some laughter, okay? To walk a little lighter in your life, you got to laugh sometimes and even laugh at yourself and allow people to laugh at you if that's what they want to do. It's not really about them laughing at you. It's the intentions behind why they are laughing and time and, and times as these two you got to learn how to laugh at yourself and laugh with others okay find the laughter in this life um if that's you just doing something practically like uh going to the movie theater and watching a comedy movie do that if that's you listening to a podcast that's of that genre of comedy then do that if that's you uh, listening to TV or watching TV, then do that. You know, do whatever brings you laughter and joy. Have a sense of humor in your life. Don't be so uptight and so hard and critical on yourself that you're doing something wrong or you fumbled over your words. It happens to the best of us and all of us. You start from somewhere and you keep on going and practicing and getting better and getting better. So just take that to heart and let that lift you a little bit. And I pray that you do the work because you are worth the soul work.